Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, are the most biodiverse ecosystem on Earth. Once they were home to 25% of the world's marine species. Now they are rapidly deteriorating at an alarming rate and many species have made their way to the endangered list, such as the sea bass and tuna, as well as elkhorn and staghorn coral, which are two major components of the underwater ecosystem. Dave Vaughn, an internationally acclaimed moat marine scientist from the Florida Keys, has concentrated on reef restoration. He has invented a new scientific process through which they can reproduce coral in nurseries. What scientists are looking to do is to help restore corals the same way we're restoring forests, wetlands, and mangroves. First, scientists measure and break off a three-inch piece of coral. Next, they epoxy the section onto a block of cement. After three months of growth, the section of coral is relocated to a restoration site. These steps are simple methods in which coral could potentially be regrown and repopulated. In the past, coral most commonly reproduced sexually. This occurred by the release of gametes, more commonly known as egg and sperm cells, during a very short mating period. This has been drastically reduced, however, due to mankind's negative influence on the environment. The other ways corals reproduce is asexually, by fragmentation. This rapid decline can be largely attributed to global climate change, ocean acidification due to pollution, and a vast amount of CO2 being released. When emitted by an automobile, the CO2 particles are absorbed by the seawater forming carbonic acid. This process is called ocean acidification. This causes the pH of the water to drop, giving the coral no time to adapt to the change. It is suspected that higher marine life forms, including fish, may be affected by this declining of pH through a process called acidosis. This can cause irreversible damage to the Earth's coral reefs. If we do not take drastic measures over the next decade to correct the problem, the reefs will perish within the next 40 years. I am afraid that future generations will never see a natural reef teeming with life and color.